Well, this is a uh, bass that is the lightest one in my entire collection of instruments, and it comes in handy now that I'm getting older and my back hurts. Uh, this is <laughs> a good choice for me. This is a John Carruthers uh, four string. I think it's called a CB4. And uh, this one has a one piece uh, Okume body, uh, which is a really light but resonant and um, durable wood actually. Uh, similar to mahogany, but it, it's much lighter more resonant and it, it, it seems to resist uh, dings and damage a little better. Uh, this one has a Amazonian rosewood fingerboard and a bird's eye maple neck. Um, it's a normal 34 inch scale. Uh, this also has the uh, EMG uh, top of the line pickups which are, are splittable. Uh, it's a soap bar pickup, but uh, it has uh, a splittable system where you can go um, single coil or uh, humbucking, depending on whether you pull up on the volume knobs. And John wires these bases so that uh, you don't lose any tonal qualities uh, if you turn one of the volume knobs down versus the other one. Uh, if you've ever noticed, like on a jazz bass, uh, if you turn one of the volumes down, <clears throat> there's a cut in the uh, high frequency response of the bass. And uh, this is designed not to do that weird kind of thing that happens. Um, it's got a uh, three band EQ, basically a uh, bass treble and then a mid with a sweep and it's all EMG. Uh, he's using, uh, I guess, a hip shot bridge on this and the ultralight hip shot tuners. But this bass weighs less than eight pounds, I think. It's absolutely fantastic as far as uh, the weight. And uh, it's been a good instrument as far as the uh, tone um the amgs sound really good they're very modern uh sounding they've got a lot of variety and you can change things around as far as the tone but it, it is a more modern sounding bass uh it sounds like um you know like what you hear on some of the smooth jazz stuff or on uh you know more of a fusion sound anyway Here's what it sounds like. One piece body that that helps a lot. Um, but punchy, 
good nice uh, clear highs that aren't uh, honky or overpowering just nice and crisp anyway this is a John Carruthers uh, CB4 John is you know uh, one of the two people I would consider geniuses in the the world of luthiery and uh, him and Ron Wickersham are the two guys that I really respect and um, John has never given enough credit for what he's done over the last 50 60 years of uh, instrument uh, development but if you ever find one of his basses or his guitars they're fantastic